So you know you want to move to Somerville, but you're not quite sure where in Somerville you should move to. In today's video, I'm going to share one of my favorite places to live within all of Somerville, as well as invest in Union Square, Somerville. Hey everyone, my name is Sage Jankowitz. I'm a realtor based in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts. I've closed over 300 transactions in the last three years. If you guys have any questions as I'm going through this video, make sure that you set up a call with me in the Calendly link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into it. So to start off with Union Square, a cool little piece of history. Most people don't know why Union Square is named Union Square, but it actually goes all the way back to the Civil War. Union Square was actually a recruitment hub for the Union Army and they recruited a lot of soldiers. And there's a whole lot of history you can look into around Prospect Hill, just Google it. But that is actually why Union Square is named Union Square. Pretty cool little fact to start things off. Another cool thing about Union Square is it actually is really a hub for the Somerville community as a whole. It has the Somerville Police Headquarters, it has the cable access TV station for Somerville, and it has a local free radio station, a community radio station. Next up is the transportation. Union Square is an extremely central place. It's just a 10 minute ride on the new Green Line extension, which opened in March of 2022 to North Station. And it's only an 18 minute ride from Union Square to Park Street. So whether you need to connect on the red line to Park Street, it's just 18 minutes, or if you can get off at North Station and work around there, it's just 10 minutes. So it's a super convenient short trip to get to downtown. So if a lot of people who live in Somerville are commuting to downtown, and it's one of the best places to live if you kind of don't want that full-on city vibe, but you want some city slash suburban elements. From a transportation perspective, the other piece that's really cool is it's very close to 93. So if you happen to be a reverse commuter and you're going to the North Shore or the South Shore, it's very close to the highway. And also if you're going to Starro Drive, not too far from getting onto Starro as well. Next thing, grocery stores and general convenience. Union Square is really nice because it has a market basket. It has a Whole Foods. It has the Union Square Farmer's Market. It has a Target. So it really has, within walking distance, pretty much everything you will need for your day-to-day. -day. And that doesn't include a lot of boutique-y little options and little tchotchkes you can get at things like Bow Market and other places close by. Next up, the food scene in Union Square is incredible, and it's gonna get a lot more incredible over the years, but it's already really awesome. It has Bronwyn, a German restaurant that is just really, really cool and very, very unique. It has Celeste, one of the top Peruvian restaurants you're ever gonna find. It's got the Neighborhood Restaurant, which has the best Portuguese breakfast I've ever had in my life. It's an awesome breakfast place. It's got Union Square Donuts, a great donut shop. It has Field and Vine, which is like a locally sourced, farm fresh, local farm farm food, really, really tasty. It's got so many awesome places already there and a lot more coming. And that kind of brings me to the next point, which is development. Now, I really can't say this for a lot of other parts of Somerville, but Union Square has a lot of locked in development over basically the next eight to 10 years. A lot of stuff is coming. If you're from around here, you see all the construction happening. And we are talking about a lot, a lot of big changes. We're talking over one and a half million, that's right, one and a half million square feet of new lab space. We are talking about over 1,000 new residential units coming to Union Square. We're talking over 140,000 square feet of restaurants, shops, and other service retail industry type options coming to the area. And we're talking over four acres of new open space around Union Square. In total, this is going to dramatically change the landscape of Union Square. So I tell all my investors and also people looking for a primary home, this is both a great place to buy and live in, but also to invest in. Because with all that built-in development, we're gonna see massive changes. And my prediction is massive increases in price and in rent and in cool lifestyle fun things to do. So whether you're looking to buy for primary or invest, I see it as a huge opportunity. Now, the final thing I wanna land on is a lot of people will ask me, okay, Union Square sounds amazing. There's so many pluses. Are there any cons? Are there any negatives here? Well, in my mind, there are two negatives that I think you should consider. The first is gonna be all that construction. With that construction comes a lot of good things, 
but right now it means a lot of noise. So if you're a very noise sensitive person and you're buying in a certain part of Union Square, and that's kind of a very particular case by case situation, but I can kind of show you. If you have questions, again, hit that Calendly link below and I'm happy to go over particular properties. But if you're really close to some parts of Union Square where the construction is the heaviest, it can be really loud and it can be really disruptive. So that's the first thing. And with that, of course, comes a lot of traffic. There's detours, roads closed. So that's something that if you're planning on buying now, you're gonna have to be prepared for some of that. And that's just a normal thing that will happen. And the second thing is Union Square has already changed dramatically compared to how it was even five, six years ago. And so what that means is you are going to pay a premium if you want to live in Union Square. So there are other more, what I would call up and coming parts of Somerville, which are going to be a little more affordable, where you're going to get a little more space, you're going to get a little bit higher quality finishes. So understand that you either may be priced out of Union Square, depending on your budget, or you may have to take a cut in terms of how much space you're gonna get or the quality of the actual housing. So that's just something to be aware of. I still think Union Square is a great place to buy and I recommend to all my clients, it's one of the best places to focus on if you're really looking to make a great investment and have a great place to live. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, please take a second, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have questions, you know what to do. Hit that Calendly link below, I'm happy to hop on a free 10 minute call. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, guys, see you guys later.